Hey everybody, Panda here, here to bring you Gintama, chapter 431, and we finally got a new arc by the looks of it. Um, I have no idea what to call this arc, because, you know, with Gintama they don't have name them, so it's like, they normally just do it, to wait until the anime to, like, name them. So, for this one, I've decided to name it, I, I, I love this part of this, like, part of my work, like, doing this, like, I've called it the last bowl of ramen arc, or like the last ramen arc. L let's just go with last ramen arc. Um, and surprisingly, it focuses on a character that we haven't seen for I don't know about four hundred chapters. <laughs> like, um, her name is um, Ikumatsu. Um, I actually I always forget her name, but, um, but people don't remember her. Like, I know a few of you have only just started getting into the series. She is the the ramen woman who's like who's um. Husband used to be like own a ramen shop, and then like Katsura met her, and saw he sort of took care of her in a way, and yeah, that's sort of how the arc like started off with. And it it basically told a story about like whilst her husband was still alive, there was this man who kept coming in every New Year's. He looked poor, he looked like he didn't have any money, but every year he would buy the like on New Year's he would buy himself like a big bowl of ramen, and he would share it between them, and. <clears throat> Like, after, like, the last bowl of ramen, um, he, um, her husband made, he, like, after he died, he just stopped kept coming in, so, that, that was pretty weird, uh, and then it goes back to current time, where she does, like, cause, um, her husband said, you know, continue this, um, tradition, and it starts off with, like, Gintoki, um, Kagura, and Shinpachi, and they're literally shoving their faces in it, they're like, give me some of that food, and all that, and she was telling him, um, this, um, <laughs> like, she's telling them the story, and then Katsura is saying, like, you know, maybe he died or something, like, maybe he got better in life, or perhaps he didn't like your taste of your, um, freaking ramen, and she just, like, freaking threw an entire bowl of ramen into his face, <laughs> like, that scorching got him, <laughs> oh, I pissed myself, uh, <laughs> and anyway, they sort of came up to him that they're actually going to look back to this guy, and see, um, like, what they could find, like, Katsura looked around for it, like, in, like, Kagura Chipachi, and they ended up, because since they asked, like, he looked like a homeless guy, and he didn't look like it, they actually decided to go to, like, the freaking dark parts of town, and they ended up disguising themselves as homeless people, and they ended up meeting, like, um, <laughs> this freaking guy, like, um, is his name Hasegawa? It turns out Hasegawa is the god of homeless people. <laughs> it's like he comes out like freaking god, like with his like stick and everything. And he's saying, if you want my respect and all that, if you want my blessings, then you got to give me like three boxes, 60 empty cans, and like three bento boxes. It's like, it's simple as. And um, it, I thought it pretty ridiculous. And then it turned out it was like the old homeless man uh, all along. It it was pretty weird um, how this arc started. It didn't really kick, um, kick off till like the other bit. It was saying, um, I think it was. Um, I try to th uh, try to remember like because there was this guy that came in, and we haven't. I think he was the one who was actually the one harassing um, Iko, uh, the girls' sh ramen shop. I really like. They even had to say, I'm pretty sure I'm not checking it, it's actually apparently from chapter 35 this happened, so, you know, about more than 380 chapters has gone since this, since this ever happened, and you're like, damn, it's like, how long it's gone on for, and he's basically made a cardboard army out of it, it was like pretty ridiculous, but he, he sort of knew about Ikumatsu, and saying, um, because I think he was her brother-in-law, actually. I think he was actually her, um... I'm pretty sure the guy was, um, Ikumatsu's brother-in-law. And with that, like, he freaking told him, saying, you know, what, who that guy really is. And then even as well, like, why Kagura and Shinpachi were searching out, saying this is actually, like, because the only lead they had was a scarf. And the scarf, like, was apparently really well made in this shop, and it was, like, belonged to, like, the manager. And they're saying, oh, the manager died 20 years, 20 years ago, unfortunately. And it turns out that the guy is actually Ikumatsu's father. Whether like whether or not Ikumatsu knows about this or not, it's gonna be weird. And I mean, I know I did miss out a few things, like with the whole there was like one brilliant scene in the series where he's like um, 
Gintoki was asking whether or not he was going to be tapping at us. It was pretty like um, ridiculous. He's saying, don't be fooled by me, Gintoki. I don't like married women. I like unfaithful brides. Like, and it was that was ridiculous. But this, the the, the forgotten ramble or the lost arm and ra um, <laughs> arc is basically begun. Like, if you've got any better names to what to call this arc so far, then please let me know. Um, I guess we probably find out as soon as like the um, the Orizia Soul um, Lake site actually updates it. But that's all for me, everybody. Thank you very much for listening to this one. Yep, I know we've got a new arc. I'm pretty excited. If this is like the Oikata meets about arc, then I'll, uh, you know me, I'll be loving it. But thank you very much for watching. Remember, Strata Vendor, Sonar, and I'll see you next time.